Talking about the worst marksman in MLBB, we all know who is going to top the list. Despite knowing the results, I want to bring you this list not only based on power but their efficiency in the game. We will do a thorough comparison too. So let me get the video started. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video I want to mention about 5 worst MM in MLBB that sucks so bad that is almost has a 100% chance of losing the game. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. First of all, let me talk about Erythel, which is in the fifth spot. Now Erythel means before getting furious at me, hear me out. This is based purely on states. And you too know that they are better MM than Erythel in the meta right now. She can be very effective in dealing damage while running away. But you will also see that she is very easy to counter. And her basic attacks just don't deal much damage during the early game. You might want to argue that even Cloth cannot deal much damage during the early game. But you should also understand that he still holds the mobility to escape and he can be very effective even with two items. If you still want to know the states, Erythel holds 59.94% win rates. Meaning you have a 50-50 chance of winning the game with her. After that, I want to talk about the MM on the 4th spot, which is Mia. And she is one MM that many will fear facing against in the late game. But you might also think, why did I put her in the 4th most worst MM spot? And I have a very reasonable answer to this question. Not many people would like to choose Mia in the ranked matches because of the uncertainty of her usefulness. She always needs her items and her skill don't do much justice in the early game. And why I say this is because you can compare her damage to heroes like Kerry and you will be able to see that Kerry will always exert more damage than Mia. This doesn't mean that Mia is trash, but currently she would be one of the worst MMs that you could pick for your ranked matches. If you want to know the states, then let me tell you about them too. She stands with a win rate of 47.73%. Meaning if you play 10 matches with her, you have a chance of winning less than 5 matches. After that, I want to talk about Nathan, who is in the third spot on the worst list. Being an MM that can deal some serious penetration magic damage, he still manages to be countered easily. His ultimate works as an escape opportunity, but using it for escaping is just like using Diggy's ultimate to gain some movement speed. Other than that, he is sometimes effective with ultimate combo. And that is why he has managed to hold a win rate of 41.55%. Meaning you win only 4 out of 10 games you play. If you are a Nathan man and you play him very frequently, do comment about his effectiveness. I would really like to know your review of it. After that on the second worst spot, we have your favorite toxic pick, Layla. People just basically use her to throw a tantrum on their teammates or when they are sure that they will not be able to win and pick Layla to not spoil their main hero win rates. And these were some of the reasons. Layla sure is an effective MM because of her range. But you will also have to understand that she does not have any escape skill to move in and out in the ganks easily. If you want to compare with the top MM on the list, you will be able to find that those MMs have basic attack with a short dash ability to reposition or chase them whenever needed. And this is one life saving skill almost every MM needs. But Layla's skill 1 movement speed will rarely help you to gain such advantages in escaping or repositioning. 
So she stands on the second worst MM on this list with a win rate of 41.47%. Meaning she wins only 4 out of 10 matches. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamond, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 50k MLPB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between our various packs. And as the top worst MM in the list, we have Hanabi. Before Hanabi mains come raging at me, I just want to ask you guys if you think she's really effective in the mid to late games. I mean you can think of countering her with almost any MM you can imagine. And the ultimate is one of the most annoying things as you will miss it 50% of the time. Her first skill shield is also not as helpful as the developers thought it would be and the immunity is useless too. Most of the time it fails to immune her during a crucial situation. Thus, adding more drawbacks to her efficiency in ganks. Imagine having to carry Purify as a battle spell because your first skill gives you some useless shield. Let me give you some numbers. Hanabi right now wins 4 out of 10 matches but her effectiveness is lower when compared to other heroes on the list. So these were 5 worst MMs in MLBB according to me. Please feel free to drop down your opinion regarding this as I really love your feedback and funny comments. And before ending this video, let me give a shout out to Kenjoy Puya, Not Kid Boys, Aaron Thung Ovung, Jack and Ghost. Thank you guys for staying connected and being with Kazuki family. If you want to be part of the shout out, drop a comment. And that was all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, keep supporting Kazuki Official.